Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan, and the topic in hand is Introduction to Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Labor Policy 2018. Dear students, under the 18th Amendment in the Constitution of Pakistan 1973, the provinces have been given the mandate to legislate and to formulate policies on the subject labor. As a result, my dear students, the government of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa has already promulgated 11 labor laws. And my dear students, you would be enlightened to know that KPK in its Industrial Policy 2016 has envisioned skill development, labor-intensive industrialization and agro-based industrialization focusing on labor-intensive techniques employment generation and social development. My dear students, beside this, the Integrated Development Strategy 2014 endeavors to integrate Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government's priorities under one framework and is main vehicle to improve human development and to remove inequalities. My dear students, you would be enlightened to know that unemployment is at the rise and KPK is lagging behind from other provinces in most of the development indicators. However, amidst these challenges, the government believes that productive employment generation is the route to alleviate property, to alleviate poverty, and sustained growth lies in creating employment opportunities with decent working conditions. My dear students, being cognizant of this situation, the government through this labor policy resolves to demonstrate its commitment to work for the protection of labor and ensuring its dignity through coordinated efforts and policy integration. My dear students, the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa labor policy intends to guide and support the government and the stakeholders in developing strategies, plans and programs for the protection and promotion of the rights and benefits of working community without jeopardizing the genuine concerns of the employers. My dear students, you would be enlightened to know that the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa labor policy commits promotion of decent work for all workers in line with international labor standards and constitutional guarantees through setting following properties. Through following priorities. My dear students, and the priorities are implementation in health and safety at the workplace through promulgation of new OSH laws, capacity building of the industries through provision of technical know-how, enhancing institutional capacity of labor department and through effective labor administration and governance. My dear students, the labor policy of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa also focus on the fact that facilitation of women in labor market through skill development will be done, improvement in workplace will be done, monitoring of the workplace will be done, enhancing coordination in administration of laws on sexual harassment and ensuring that pro-women provisions for labor laws must be implemented in the industrial and commercial establishment. Moreover, my dear students, the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa labor policy focuses that reinvigoration of inspection through facilitating inspecting staff, resource allocation, provision of transport, digitization of inspection, follow ups, improvement in reporting and monitoring of inspection, and research on possibilities of joint inspection through ADP schemes and support from ILO and international donors will be done. 
the labor policy of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa also focuses that promoting genuine trade unionism, tripartism, social dialogue, and holding of provincial tripartite labor conference annually is the quint essence of the intentions of the labor policy. My dear students, the policy also focuses that facilitation of the workers in provision of their basic rights, social protection and welfare measures through education and awareness and establishment of facilitation desks will be made available to the laborers or the workers. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you very much indeed.